Okay, so I needed to, there, there's a really big story that would not fit in today, but I wanted to let all of our listeners know that I'm aware of it and we will do it as the topic next week because it's really interesting. So, you know, normally I start off the show notes with this week on security now. So then that, so my, my, my second item here is next week on security now is the windows atom bomb exploit and attack. Is this the one Google um, just talked? No, about? no, no, right. this is different. This is uh, really a problem because it isn't leveraging a bug, it is leveraging a long-standing feature mm -hmm. known as the global atom table, which is a way for for applications to have Windows like store st arbitrary strings, which they were, which they then receive a token for. The problem is it's shared, and some very clever hackers figured out how to turn this into an exploit. And the, here's the problem, is it's not a bug. And Microsoft can't change it be, because it's it's in all Windows OSs and existing software depends upon it working just the way it does. So uh, unless, you know, something else happens, uh, it will be our election day topic for security now uh, that is the U.S. election, of course, uh, which is one week from today. Wow.